So Dubai, the Barclays story. The bank is setting out its revival plans today uh, and meeting with skepticism from some analysts who say it's little more than window dressing. Reuters Breaking Views uh, doesn't quite agree with that. Dominic Elliott uh, joins me now. Um, I mean, there are those who say flowery, hot air, window dressing, not a lot of substance here. Um, what do you say? Well, I think we've, we've gone a little bit further with the Barclays plan than perhaps the market expected. They are cutting quite a lot in terms of risk-weighted assets. They are cutting some of the investment bank, um, perhaps not as much as some people hoped, but we think that there is still a fair bit of uh, room for shares to move up. So there is, there is a prospect. Well, it got a little bit of a bounce today, didn't it? It up did, yeah. Five percent or whatever. Exactly. Um, yeah. You know, the question is how long can it last? So, so my question to you, Dominic, is what, what is more important to the market? This, this, this cutting of, what, £1.7 billion pounds in costs or raising standards, um, convincing the markets that there's a cultural change going on in banking. What's more important, do you think? I think if you're an investor in Barclays, what you're worried about is the fact that there might be another LIBOR scandal around the corner or there might be something to damage the reputation. That's always going to hit the share price. So they want to know for, for sure that Anthony Jenkins has set the bank on a path to a more... Uh, sort of cautious, but but also they're like Leslie to slip on any banana skin sort of future. That's that's what investors want, and I think you can see today that there's a fair bit in this strategic review, such that it is. We're, we're going to get more detail at 12 o'clock, but there is something there to make us feel a bit more confident about it. Where does free future profit come from there? I mean, the Q4 number was good because investment banking was good. Mm. If they're cutting, if they're scaling back so much on the investment, I mean, this is the delicate balance that he needs to tread, isn't yeah. it? This delicate line that he needs to tread. I mean, yes, we're cutting back on investment banking, but not too much to really hit the profits. Well, it's a bit of a slalom, you're right. I mean, you can't go too far because if you do, you're going to start to cut into the investment bank and, and that's where all the, the, the profit growth last quarter came from. So it's about choosing your battles. And he, you know, Anthony Jenkins, the chief executive, he has said they want to make sure that they can offer their global clients services all around the world, but they're not going to go after the local clients. That's, that's the choice that Barclays have made. Mark's out of 10 for Jenkins today? Well, I think it's um, probably about a seven and a half, a bit really? better than we were expecting. That's pretty good, I But it's say. all about the next year or so. And, and, you know, at this point, I do want to bring in some other headlines and some other stories that we've talked about. Because, they're, you know, and I'm going to ask you marks out of 10 for the UBSs and the, uh, and the RBSs and the Deutsches as well. Because, because there seems to be this trend that we've noticed at Insider. Um, the, 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 the comment that you're making at Breaking Views on the bank turnarounds yeah. um, and, and, the, and the progress seems to be much more positive than, than not. And there's this risk uh, before reward piece here, uh, UBS, that uh, was a piece you wrote, um, fixing the error prone investment. Deutsche um, as well looks good. You wrote a pretty positive piece on RBS and, and getting the, the mid table mendacity piece, getting out of the LIBOR danger zone. Um, is, there, is there this trend? Is it, is well, it a I, noticeable trend we're seeing? I, I think you have to think about the banks a little bit more individually. I'm, I'm not sure we're, we're positive on all of them. I'm, I'm a little bit more sceptical on Deutsche Bank at the moment. Deutsche Bank, I think the market in general underestimates the risk with Deutsche Bank. Their capital position isn't great. They've still got a lot of leverage. Um, RBS is uh, hamstrung a little bit by government intervention. It's hard to see how RBS's investment bank will really ever be able to get back unless to, to a position that it once was, unless the government mm. really pulls back mm. and manages to sell out. That doesn't look like it's going to happen. UBS does look like a better prospect, but it's such early days. I think what we're saying with UBS is it's great at the moment. It looks great on paper. Um, we have to see how that works out over the next couple of years. All right, Dominic, I'll stop it there. Thanks very much indeed. Dominic Elliott uh, from Breaking Views. For more Agenda Setting Insight, watch our US show every day, 12.30 Eastern, 17.30 GMT. I'm Axel Threlfall. This is Reuters.